Eric Trump trolled for trying to sell Trump-themed Christmas ornaments on Twitter. Eric Trump probably didn't expect this reaction when he tried to sell some Trump-themed holiday spirit on Twitter. President Donald Trump's middle son, 34, tweeted out several photos of Trump-themed Christmas ornaments on Monday, including two different mini versions of Trump Tower, a Trump-branded helicopter and a set of golf clubs, although social media users had difficulty identifying the last one. Love the all-new Christmas ornaments from our at Trump store team. Eric captioned the photos. Almost immediately, followers started bombarding the first son with jokes about a recent scandal in which the 45th commander and chief failed to attend a celebration of the World War I armistice at the Ace Marne American Cemetery and Memorial in France, allegedly because the rain prevented his helicopter from flying there. Does the helicopter have to stay in the box if it's raining? One woman tweeted. Rain not included, added another. Anything in handcuffs? Asked a third. The ornaments retail for $60, which was another point of contention among Twitter users. Seems reasonable, wrote one person alongside a crying laughing emoji. And the Trump crime family makes only $59.50 on each, joked another. Trump's eldest son, Donald Trump Jr., also posted photos of the ornaments on his Instagram, prompting one user to ask what was pictured in the fourth photo in the series. It's a set of golf clubs, came the reply from the Instagram account for the Trump store. The initial helicopter controversy took place on November 10, the day before D-Day. Among the people criticizing Trump's decision to opt out of the ceremony was Nicholas Soames, Winston Churchill's grandson and a member of parliament. They died with their face to the foe, and that pathetic inadequate at Real Donald Trump couldn't even defy the weather to pay his respects to the fallen, Soames tweeted, adding, number has not fit or present this great country. In its own condemnation of Trump's absence, the progressive veterans group VoteVets referred to Trump's quip in October that he was having a bad hair day after addressing reporters on a rainy day about the shooting that killed 11 people at a Pittsburgh synagogue. Donald Trump complained about having to stand in the rain to speak about the massacre in Pittsburgh because it messed his hair up more, the group tweeted. Today, he will skip honoring fallen American heroes of World War I and stay in his hotel room because of some rain. For his part, Trump said he tried to get to the ceremony, but the Secret Service wouldn't allow it. By the way, when the helicopter couldn't fly to the first cemetery in France because of almost zero visibility, I suggested driving, he tweeted. Secret Service said no, too far from airport and big Paris shut down. Speech next day at American Cemetery in pouring rain. Little reported fake news.